Hi, my name is Steve Lee. I'm here to tell you about our entry, descent, and landing sequence, which is the way we're going to land our rover named Curiosity on the surface of Mars in 2012. During entry, the Mars Science Laboratory uses a series of thrusters to maneuver through the atmosphere towards the landing site. Once it slows down to Mach 2, a parachute is deployed and the vehicle slows down further. The heat shield is released and the radar is then exposed, which begins taking measurements of the height above the ground and the vehicle's speed. The wheels are released in preparation for a final touchdown. The Mars landing engines warm up and the vehicle separates from the back shell, maneuvering away from the parachute to get to a clear, safe spot for landing. Final vertical descent precedes a sky crane maneuver during which the rover is separated from the descent stage and lowered on a bridal seven and a half meters long. The descent stage slowly lowers the rover towards the ground at a speed of about 0.75 meters per second. After touching down on its wheels, the rover is stable. The descent stage senses the offload, cuts the bridle, and flies away to land a safe distance away from the rover. Once on the surface, the Curiosity rover deploys the remote sensing mast. This mast contains a series of cameras used throughout the mission. After ground controllers assess the train in the immediate vicinity of the rover, it can be commanded to start roving. The rover is able to take images, process those images, and determine the safest path to drive to get towards the goals set by the ground controllers. Curiosity is able to turn in place and roll over rough terrains and rocks. Curiosity's science mission is designed to last at least one Mars year, which is two years on Earth. The rover is also designed to rove at least 20 kilometers on the surface of Mars. 